Beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You are blessed. For ye are come unto Mount Zion, that mount where there are innumerable companies of angels, the spirits of just men made perfect, to the church of the firstborn, where he has chosen to leave us with a charisma of his presence. Adonai, Lamb of God, truly you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, tonight let your kingdom reign in our hearts. special number let your kingdom come yeah. let your kingdom come this is our prayer when his kingdom comes in your life you will never be the same let his kingdom come upon that sick body let your kingdom come
First Thessalonians. There are angels moving around, just bringing impartations in people as we do. Mighty impartations of fire. This is what I see happening in the spirit. Your presence. Hallelujah. See, listen. No matter what you have, if you do not have his presence, you have nothing. I don't care what you have. That ultimate secret is his presence. You can fake power. You can fake anointing. But you cannot fake the presence of the mighty one. The lion and the lamb He's seated on the throne See this is not a special number Mountains bow down Every ocean roll To the Lord of Lord. Just listen to me I'm ministering to your spirit Who is this God? He's the lion and the lamb seated on the throne. The Bible says the mountains keep like lambs in his presence. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. That is the one we serve. Mighty. It's great and mighty. Full of majesty. And he brought you here to change your life. He brought you to do something in your life that no power in existence can stop. It is within his ability to create the change. Hallelujah. Listen. Many of you do not know. See, this is the ninth month and God is birthing a lot of things. It was in this month I began to talk about the miracle service from the first week. For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. All of the teachings that we have been building upon, sharing the secrets of the kingdom, to prepare us for the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. I'm calling you higher, say at the Spirit of God. I'm calling you climb up that mountain, say at the Spirit of God. Climb up that mountain where your eyes will see clearer. Climb up that mountain. Climb up that mountain. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. 
feast upon the secrets of the spirit, said the Lord. Feast upon the secrets of the spirit. There is a path that no fowl knoweth. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. Majestic is his presence. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians two verse eight. First Thessalonians two. I'm sorry, not eight. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, I would have come to you. It is my desire. For you to experience my presence. He said, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that blessing would have come to you. Wherefore, that healing, that breakthrough would have come to you. He said, I desire, but Satan hindered us. Tonight is a prayer meeting. We will pray. Wherefore, I would have brought the breakthrough for the family. Wherefore, I would have opened you up to certain realms of grace and power. He said, but Satan, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that genotype would have changed by now. Wherefore, that act of witchcraft and divination over families and territories would have been addressed. He said, but Satan hindered us. Let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is hidden in laws and mysteries. And all through scriptures, you will find the operation of the kingdom hidden in stories, experiences, parables. They are a revelation of the patterns, the workings of the kingdom. It takes illumination. It's called the spirit of revelation. And then your eyes are open to see beyond the story. And then you begin to see the construction. The build up, the character and the operation of the kingdom. And when you understand it, you have those keys. Then you will command power in this territory. And this is what we seek to transfer. An understanding of the operation of the kingdom week after week this is our project to unveil unto you the secrets of the kingdom because when you find it then you will be able to operate in mastery in the last one or two months we have been unveiling a lot of things opening you up to the spiritual dimension of life all of the teachings have been a build up upon one and another to open you up to the spiritual dimension the bible says they know not neither do they understand they grope in darkness confusion and as a result the earth is out of course have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes and the remedy 
is an unveiling. This is why we value the presence of the Holy Spirit so much. The body of Christ knows a lot. They know a lot of Bible stories. But insight into the truth to understand the operation of the kingdom is what is deficient. says my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from out of thy heart keep them in the midst of the heart he said they are life to those who find them health to their flesh it will take your understanding of spiritual things it is understanding that will reduce satan to become nothing in your life Hallelujah. Wherefore we would have come to you. So there are many things that desire to come into your life. Breakthrough. Blessings. Increase. He said, but what happened? Satan hindered us. Satan hindered us. Hindered the blessing. Hindered the lifting. Hindered your insight, access into the deep things of the spirit, but Satan hindered us. Hallelujah. And tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. We have come to open up the two lead gates that you will step into certain things that have a time in giving. Please take note of what is happening tonight. There are healings already happening. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying. This night we will be confronting the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tonight we will pursue. We will overtake. And we will recover all. Many people have taught all kinds of junk messages. Look at me. Wickedness is real. Don't let anybody fool you with any sugar-coated message. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. Why do you need the power of the Holy Ghost? Because there are giants on every mountain. And the Bible says how awe inspiring are your ways. It said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Psalm 66 verse 3. Wherefore by now you would have been lifted. By now your family would have risen to a level. You would have stepped into another dimension. But Satan hindered us. Wherefore you would have been walking in mighty levels of grace by now. Your destiny helpers have desired to come to you. But Satan hindered them. Wherefore, your life partner would have come into your life. You would have been happily married with dignity and honor, but Satan hindered them. Wherefore, that job, that opening, but Satan hindered us. This is Paul the Apostle speaking. I desire to come to you. I know the things I carry and I know that if I meet you, you will never be the same. So Satan hindered us. Wherefore, you would have been coming to, for Koinonia years ago, but Satan hindered you. Wherefore, your loved ones would have been here tonight with all your efforts to bring them, but Satan. I need you to know that Satan is determined to frustrate your Christian experience. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Satan is determined. He will use every spiritual arsenal within his control to see that he frustrates your spiritual life. Therefore, it will take understanding of the operations of the kingdom to triumph over him. He said, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God. He said, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed and let not my enemies triumph 
over me. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, he's restoring everything in obedience to Christ. Satan has hindered a lot of people. Listen, we have been explaining these things right from the teaching. Give me this mountain. That every time you arrive at that mountain, there are giants. Hear me? There are forces of darkness stationed across the earth to ensure that men do not rise. Zechariah chapter 1. This is a month of breakthrough. Something must happen in your life. I know that somebody believes this word. There are many who will sit down there and keep being cynical and watch others testify. Said they heard the word like we did, but the word did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith. Zechariah 1 from verse 17 down. Okay. Cry yet saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, My city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad, and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion. The moment he, it speaks about breakthrough, what happens? Next verse. Can you give us from Amplified? Is it possible? Please, Amplified. Then I lifted up my eyes, and behold, four horns. Immediately he told the prophet, this is your prophetic destiny. This is what should happen to you. He said, now lift up your eyes and see what has been hindering you. He said, I lifted up my eyes and I beheld four horns. Amplified says, symbols of strength. Next verse. And I said unto the angel who talked with me, what are these? I've not been taught in church that there are horns that can lift people. They have deceived me that you just confess and enter your destiny. This is strange. I've not been taught. What are these? Many of you have been deceived that all it takes is just to laugh and you just jump in and enter your destiny. All it takes is to just pack five naira and put an envelope and come and drop it. Or that they pour a little dot of oil. Let me tell you the truth. There is more to the operation of the kingdom than this. He said, what are these? It is strange. I've not been taught. I've no, I wasn't given this insight that after a promise, there is a contention in the spirit to bring its deliverance. Most people just stop in verse 17. He said, now that I've told you your prophetic destiny, lift your eyes, let's tackle the resistance. What is this that you see? If it's raining, let them come in. Please come in. Sit anywhere. On the ground, on the altar, anywhere. Just find a place and sit down. Tonight is a serious meeting and we are going to pray. Listen. And he answered me. He said, these are what? The four horns of powers which have scattered Judas. Rob men of their praise. Rob men of their testimony. Judah means praise. Praise is an effect of a testimony. The well-doing of the Lord. Please come in. Come in everybody. Sit down anywhere. Come and sit here. Wherever you can find, just sit down. There are spaces all around. Ushers, please help them. I need everybody's attention. Are you following me now? He said they have scattered what? Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Tonight we will pray. Oh, that devil that is holding your destiny. See, no matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake. Is that true? No matter how mad he is, he can do stupid things and they say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, the Bible says he maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Look up. Every promise in the Bible requires contentions in the spirit for you to actualize it. He said, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been released to you. There are more seats. 
Stand anywhere. No devil will stop you this night. So let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Sing one more time. Yeah. Let hope. Verse 20. Please follow me tonight. It says, Then the Lord showed me what? Four smiths or workmen, one for each enemy of the horn. He showed me four carpenters. He said, Now I've shown you the horn. There are certain people I am going to send to you. He calls them carpenters. This is your promise. This is your destiny. Between you and your destiny, there are four horns. And the job of those horns is to scatter your life, scatter your finances, scatter your anointing, scatter your prayer life. He said, but I sent four carpenters. One for each horn. Mambreto he said to beat it down 21 then said i what are these horns or smith so satan sends his horn see let me tell you something go to verse 19 he said these are four horns and four powers their job is to wreck your destiny are you listening to me they are they are patient these are spirit entities scattered around the face of the earth. And every time they see anything that looks like growth and progress in your family, they are the ones, they watch to see when your sister gets pregnant. Their job is to scatter. He said to scatter Judah. Judah is the place of praise. Israel is the place of promise. 21. Then said I, what are these horns coming to do? It says, and he said, These are the horns or powers that scattered Judah so that what no man will lift his head. There are forces, hear me, Koinonia. There are forces of darkness positioned by the powers of darkness. He said, Wherefore I desire to come to you, but Satan hindered us. So that no man will lift up his head. They are scattered around our villages. They are scattered around ministries. So that certain ministries cannot lift up their heads. So that certain destinies cannot lift up their heads. That's the job. Every time anyone in your family is about to rise. They contend. In your academics. In your finance. The moment you begin to pray. After one week, your prayer life dies. The horns. The moment you have faith and say, Lord, I trust you. After three days, something pushes you down. Are you following me now? You enter a relationship. Two weeks, something just happens and scatters everything. Who are these? He said, these are four horns. They have been stationed. And every time they see you lifting your head, their job is to bring you down. It's in your Bible. It says, so that no man will lift up his head. Many ministries do not know the powers of darkness that try to tie them down. Are you listening to me? The moment a ministry starts blossoming, the men of God are carried away with money and prosperity and increase and ministrations. They forget that there are four horns. Let the Lord just declare a prophecy over your life and you will see these horns rise. The moment they declared, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased, all hell broke loose. He said, I desire to give you prosperity. I desire to give you increase. But there are four horns. 
There are four homes. There are many families represented here. What you are seeing in your dreams and visions and what is happening in your life is different. Between that dream and the manifestation are four horns. They are gates. Are you following me tonight? I came to preach my heart because we are going to pray. Four horns. You go, you go and apply for a job. They are ready to respond to you. Three days later, something comes up without any explanation. See, hear me believers. If you don't take charge of your destiny and apply the keys of the kingdom, you may remain forever. And you will not lift up your hands. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. There are many ministers who struggle and struggle. They preach, they suffer, they go and do a lot of publicity. People come and get healed and go. They don't, these are four horns. The moment they pay your father's salary, everybody in the family starts becoming mysteriously sick without explanation until that one night I finish. You marry a man who was loving and caring, suddenly he becomes a Dracula. Four horns. Tonight, we have come under an apostolic and prophetic atmosphere to confront the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me tell you, Satan can bow. Are you hearing me? Satan can bow. You must get angry in your spirit. Don't just sit and watching others. Forget about what is happening and concentrate. There's no space. Sit around. Find somewhere and sit. Tonight, when it's time to pray, I don't want to see you looking at me. Pack your wig. Pack your wivon. Keep it one side. We are going to pray this night. Hallelujah. He said, but these smiths or workmen have come to what? There are men that have been anointed to terrorize this horn. Are you saying that word? He said, see, he said, but these smiths, these carpenters have come to terrorize the horn. It didn't say, it's not just to defeat them, to terrorize them. There are people Satan is afraid of. See, Pastor Jakes made a statement. Look at me. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is this error in the body there are two errors one is the error of saying see everybody i have the same access to god are you hearing me i have the same access to god there is nothing there no man of god is special and this or the one that men of god make themselves semi-gods both are wrong but let me tell you something clearly this night not every human being is a human being the anointing has changed some people the Bible says there are many bodies. Some are terrestrial. Some are celestial. They may look like you. The ability to recognize that difference is what will take you out of certain things. Are you hearing me? We are equal in Christ, but we are not equal in call and office and anointing. You must realize this. The Bible says there are some people that have been anointed to terrorize them and cause them to be panic stricken. Look at the horns that are terrorizing others. But the Bible says God calls some people and say, you, I just call you, come and become a terrorist. It's an election of grace. It's in your Bible. This is not error. It's not because they pray more. It is an office. an office to terrorize the works of darkness see let me tell you this night whatever power hear me i'm speaking under the unction of the lord whatever power 
that is responsible for holding any area of your life except God is not the God of heaven it must give up on you this night I said it must give up on you this night I don't care I speak under a prophetic and apostolic unction as one of these privileged carpenters if I be sent of God I speak to you every horn that is responsible for terrorizing your life it will bow this night he said but I have sent carpenters they are around scattered over the earth the only problem is that we have not trained our spirits to recognize them Jesus went to certain cities they saw him until he ascended to heaven and they said is this the man that has been among us see let me tell you one of the greatest revelation you have in this life is that some people have been called are you hearing what I'm saying it's called an election of grace I didn't call myself see let me tell you something when the Lord showed me the vision for ministry hear me I was standing in a tower and I saw an endless sea of people very oppressed people messed up by Satan it was a whole generation of people and I saw them crying and while they came close, I was hearing the sounds of their cry. And they were blaming me in the vision. And I said, what is wrong? And they said, there is no food and no water. Suddenly, it occurred to me that I was holding in my hands the keys to the storehouse that will feed that generation. This is a vision I had. Listen to me, please. Hallelujah. And when that happened, I told them who is the cause who is the reason why you are the way you are and they said you are the one suddenly compassion fell on me and I said I'm going to come out right now I I got to that tower I was trying to hide from somebody that was when I looked through the mirror and I saw that thing it was fear and timidity that made me to run like Gideon to go and hide in the vision but the people were telling me that we are dying here and you are the one who is holding the keys to the storehouse they said no food and no water these two things hallelujah and i was determined that i was going to go out the moment i opened the door because i was afraid that i was alone when i opened the door there was a giant person that stood and he said hold my hands we will go together He's called the Holy Spirit. This is the whole idea behind the things we do with the Holy Spirit. People have criticized that we are emphasizing the... See, let me tell you, every great vision comes under fire and criticism because people do not understand. The Bible says they know not. I'm taking time to explain to you. This call, there are people who have been called as carpenters. You may die in a place without recognizing because you see everybody and you think they are celestial or they are terrestrial there are some people that certain graces have elected them hallelujah in one other vision i was in a whole city and i found out that all the hospitals and the clinics were closed and i was crying because there were people that were sick I said what is all this what is going on here and i had a voice he said go and heal them that was the end so when people hear that hiv positive is changing to negative or when people hear that genotypes are changing rather than finding out they keep criticizing and castigating we don't announce any miracle here without verification he said but these smiths or these workmen have been sent to terrorize these homes. That's why their lives are not normal. They are not normal human beings. They don't live like normal human beings. Hallelujah. 
Many of you do not know the burden of carrying a prophetic agenda for a generation. It will change you. I don't have a social life. I have lost many things that many people have. You do not know what it means to come under the influence of a divine mandate. I see a lot of people jumping and smiling. I'm apostle, I'm prophet. I want to open ministry and I say, oh dear. Day and night you are under fire of all sorts. But he that endures to the end. Hallelujah. He said to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who have lifted their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it. There are horns, brothers and sisters, that are responsible for the way your father behaves, for the way your mother behaves, for the way your loved ones behave. You have tried counseling. You have tried psychology. It didn't work. They are called horns. But the Bible says, My head has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and you have anointed me with fresh oil. Hallelujah. Let's look at one more scripture. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9. Shila prato soto balakata. Are you there? What did I say? 16, I'm sorry. 16, verse 9. Let's read together. It's projected. One to read. One to read it again. For a great door and effectual is open up to me. And there are many, a great door is opened. The door of marriage has been opened. The door of healing has been opened. He said, but there are how many? But the Bible says, I have said before you an open door. He said, no man can shut it. And there are carpenters that have been sent to enforce that thing. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. We are not the only carpenters. You are here because you are one of those carpenters too. This is our mission. Our mission is not to become great men of God, but to make you a terrorist in the kingdom of darkness. See, it is not everyone, hear me, that is afraid of Satan. Are you hearing me? It's not everyone that is afraid of death. It's not everyone that is afraid of sickness. Some people have seen how cheap Satan is and he's aware. Hallelujah. That knowledge comes through an understanding of the operation of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. There are many people who do not know. Listen, I want to tell you something. If you do not know the laws that govern the kingdom, it can be costly. Are you hearing me? Longevity is not a mistake. Longevity is not a product of going to church. There are kingdom principles that bring forth longevity. Divine health is not a mistake. Divine health is not a product of the anointing. Divine health is from the body of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Anointing comes to get away the demon spirits that are responsible for bringing that. He said by his stripes. He didn't say by the oil. We have misapplied a lot of spiritual laws. Authority against witches and wizards is not the issue of uh -uh. there are kingdom principles and this is what we seek to share. Greatness does not happen by magic. Many of you are asking, why is the devil disturbing me? Are you still asking that question? When Satan followed Jesus to the wilderness, was patient for one month and ten days until Jesus finished fasting. 
What makes you think that the devil will just look at you and say, Oh, I understand you are anointed. But it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say, I am one of those carpenters. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are some of you who don't sleep. When you close your eyes, you are oppressed. I was one of those people. The Bible says, a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. I've come to speak to you that there is an authority. There are seven things that redemption brings unto men. All of them must be at work in your life. The Bible says, worthy is the lamb to receive blessings, riches, honor. These are all the things he has received and he has given you. Seven. And it must be at work in your life. Hallelujah. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that have stood against little children? Who are these horns? You are aware of the testimony of the man who came here and who was healed. I think during one of the services or thereabout. He was sleeping in the night. Somebody appeared to him in a dream. Remember the story? With big syringe. Injected this man with HIV virus. And he woke up physically with the virus. That devil is a liar. Come on now. Years ago, I used to pray for barren people. And they were not healed. They didn't give birth. It disturbed me. And I went back. I said, Lord, what, what is it? Then the Lord told me, barrenness is not sickness. It's an oppression. It doesn't require healing. There is a spirit. The spirits come and they create what we call fibroid. Fibroid is the baby of these spirits in the womb of people. That's why women have miscarriages in the night. Why don't they have miscarriages in the daytime? But you are carpenters. See, I look forward to testimonies. Where will he, somebody will say, Ah, I healed the sick and I raised the dead. Not Pastor Jakes did this. Uh -uh. You be the carpenters. You are not falling down for nothing. You are not falling down to prove we are anointed. God is in a serious business of working on you. Say, I'm one of the carpenters. Say it, I'm one of the carpenters. Yes, financial carpenters. Apostolic carpenters. One of my life's goal is to break the back of poverty in the church. It's one of it. I hate the effect of poverty on many families. More ladies have entered prostitution. They didn't come to meet you. How much do you have? Many people have been messed up. There are some of you now. You want to marry. But you cannot get married. Because of the finance. And some of you are hoping that one day. I will get a job of 10,000 and then I will get married. Calculate it by your do you to judge. But when those that God has sent to bless you, they can come in one day. He said your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this? You are going to get angry this night. This night we are going to pray. I'm just sharing with you scriptures. The Bible says Daniel in chapter 10. Remember how that Daniel was praying and fasting. Wanting to get an understanding. And the Bible says the moment is said from the very first day. Daniel 10. You start reading from verse 5 down to 11 verse 1. When he was coming, the Bible says the prince of Persia withstood the angel 20 and one day. 
the prince of Persia withstood him. Hallelujah. The prince of Persia withstood him. Until he kept praying. The moment that embargo was lifted, the angel said, now I am come to give thee understanding. One of the chief princes came to help. Tonight there is divine backing of the angelic. As we pray, there will be things happening in the realm of the spirit. Yokes of darkness that will be broken. This is pre-miracle service. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. That's what God will do tonight. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Sing it one more time. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain. I've shared it here. Before we start Koinonia, listen, I realize that there is a secret to increase and growth. And I knew that there were powers over territory that kept ministries down. I've shared this again. From the roundabout of Chicken Republic, I started walking there till aviation, commanding the forces to bow commanding principalities and power and then the city opens up before i go for administration in any city i speak to the principalities they know my voice see let me teach you something there are principalities there are powers there are rulers there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are different strata of of darkness but the Bible says you have been exalted above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Both in this realm, this world, and in the world to come. So you command them to bow. Hallelujah. As our prayer department begins to pray, they speak over the week. And an open heavens. And you are there in your house. You don't even know what carries you from your house. You are still complaining and insulting us, yet you are coming. Because the heavens are open. There's an army rising up. You are that prophetic army. There's an army rising up. I tell you, you are that army. There's an army rising. Tonight, every one of you is going to represent not just yourself, but even your families. Hear me? Your families have been praying for a savior. Say, we can't die like this. And God said, come for koinonia. You, you, let God find a carpenter. Hallelujah. I just came, today I just came, I've been at home. I needed to go and visit the house. As soon as I stepped in, in the night, that night as I slept, in a dream, the Lord showed me everything that was wrong. And I got up the next day while they were sleeping. Hallelujah. I got anointing oil, poured it inside water, and carried the bucket 
I took my bare foot and I was walking around. And I was commanding the forces in that territory to bow. I said an ambassador is in town. This is what we are teaching you. Hallelujah. An ambassador is in town. I went and looked at my mother's poultry. I said, I command increase. See, if you know the office that you stand in in Christ, you will not take it for granted. The Bible says, as I hear you say before my ears, so will I do. Realize you are not ordinary. You are not the one looking for help. And if there is any need for help, we will grant you the help here by the grace of God and empower you to go back. When you see things that are not working, rejoice because you are here. You carry the backing of heaven. Your job is to legislate. Your job is to legislate. The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An ambassador. You must realize this. So that you don't just stand at home. Or in your offices. Everything that is going wrong. Start blaming yourself. And say now. Everybody is lamenting. If there is nobody. I am an ambassador. Say it. I am an ambassador. You are an ambassador. This is why God is bringing you. And you are going to pray. As you pray. First for yourself. And then through the fire of the Holy Ghost. You will dislodge powers. Over your life. And then you will see testimonies rolling in. Suddenly you will find out that certain insights you have been struggling to get. Suddenly there is an open heaven. Your ministry or your fellowship takes another level. As if Satan does not exist. Hallelujah. Nobody ever came to Jesus Christ. Hear me. After he went 40 days and 40 nights. Satan came to withstand him. Because Jesus wanted to come to the people like Paul. But Satan withstood him. When he defeated Satan, suddenly on the mountain, people started coming. Along the water side, people said, what happened? Powers were dislodged. This night, hear me. You are not praying for healing. You are confronting the gates of darkness. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Rise up on your feet. Listen. 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 I want you to know that heaven is backing you tonight. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say heaven is backing me. Say it, heaven is backing me. Because we are going to pray now. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I tell you there will be an eruption of testimonies. After this night's meeting, you will know that the things that have been happening around your life and your family, they are not as ordinary as they look. You are the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. number one hallelujah you are going to pray and say in the name of Jesus I confront gates that are stopping the finances the finances grace that are making your family members not to be tighters grace that are making them not to be givers lift your voice Financial days. 
Hallelujah. Please hold on. This prayer must be serious this night. Please let's have two of our school of ministry students, two prayer band. Benga, come. Kenny, come. Go on one of the mic. Our school of ministry students, where are you? Are you not? Tolu, come. Quickly, two, three. Well, you, it's okay. You push, go and share the mic. Stand behind. When I say pray, if you are not praying, you will go back to your seat. You are not out for Jamboree. We are going to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four horns. There are four prayer points we have. The Bible says they were sent to one. This finance thing, you are going to pray it. Lift your voice and pray.
The Bible says, hear me. The Bible says, there is no man, hear me, that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good except he first find the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan, the Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces, bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Principalities, bow. Hear me. Listen. Are you still praying? The Bible says, when you catch a thief, listen please. 
when a thief steals your property and you catch that thief he won't bring back what he stole he said he will restore sevenfold this is what the bible says sevenfold you're going to pray see listen the lord is showing me in i'm in a vision right now and the lord is showing me angels holding baskets hear me but the baskets are empty listen please follow me there is a prophetic atmosphere here there are empty baskets and i'm wondering and the lord is ministering to me he's saying this basket will be full of the blessings that are due god's people hear me he said and i will restore hear me canker worms can eat years of people's life so you are growing older but nothing is happening but this night hey i don't know about you but i came to koinonia i'm placing a demand everything you know satan took i'd like you to call it back and say restore something to me we are still praying on the third point the lord said we should call back opportunities that were either missed or wasted are you hearing me there are some of you some circles came into your life either by carelessness it passed let me tell you it's only in this realm that you count time in the realm of the spirit you can call time back hear me I don't care what opportunity you missed. Restore. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Restore. for job, Restore. right now, I want you to call back Restore. that opportunity. It will call back. Yes.
Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink and you will see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates. Let me tell you something. Some of you are the last card that God has to use over your family. If you don't do anything about it, don't think God brought you here just to waste your time. Listen. See me. Listen, listen. If you truly love your family members, effectual prayer is not just by shouting. It is the seriousness. Put your heart in this prayer. Many of you, as you pray, you will begin to see vision. See, hear me. Listen, let me tell you something. Listen, listen. I, see, we don't kill people in this place. But let me tell you, God is a God of mercy, but He's a God of judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes. As this power is taking some human beings become victims. We don't kill people. But whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise, you will pray it is not. Lift your voice. I'm gonna go 
Hallelujah. The Bible says, and that night, Jacob wrestled with this. He said, I will not let you go. And the Bible says, when he touched his thigh, he said, what is your name? He said, Jacob, which means a cheat and a supplanter. He said, you are called Israel. For as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. And the Bible says, hear me. He says, and the sun rose, and he called that place Peniel. Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding to the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for this ministry. Hear me. I'm like a pregnant woman right now. Because I know when we step into seasons. God has his way. In the last three to four months. That's why you find out that you don't find me outside. I have been praying and preparing. Birthing new and mighty things in the spirit. We are stepping into a dimension. See for when you are faithful with what God gives you. He said he measured a thousand cubits. And it was to the ankle. And when he saw that you were faithful. He measured a thousand cubits. Many of you are already sensing that. There are newer levels of grace. You can see that the unction upon the house is not what it used to be. This is ushering season. For when God wants to bless you, he will first increase the anointing, then enlarge your sphere of influence. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all the dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made. Hallelujah. If you love this ministry, I'd like you in the next few minutes to pray your life out. Listen, you're going to pray for the ministers. See the way ministers are falling around like leaves. Immorality, all kinds of things. I've said it, any man can fall from any height. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And if you love us, pray for us. Pray for us. We are going to pray for this ministry. We are going to say, Lord, let a dimension of grace, hear me, hear the prayer point, and fire spread from this place and around this nation. God is already doing great things through our teachings. I cannot describe to you what is happening around. The media can tell you best the mighty and terrible things that God is doing. Some of you have gone back and you have become mighty agents of change. Even you, you are surprised at yourself. This is what we are training you to become. And hear me, when you are praying for the ministry, you are praying for yourself. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're going to say, Lord, together, as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads. Listen, there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking. It will speak in your own life. It will speak. If truly God has called us, something should come upon your life. 
that you will become a peasant of the vision. Lift your voice and pray for ear. <laughs> of the ministry our school of ministry God is raising mighty mighty men of power in all spheres not just ministry you're going to pray for our students you're going to pray for the missions hallelujah you're going to pray for koinonia you're going to pray for all of the things that we are doing you're going to say Lord not one sick body will come and not be healed not one oppressed person you're going to pray for grace to stand criticism grace to stand persecution grace to remain faithful grace to remain faithful grace to remain humble Hallelujah. I want to do something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you that everything we stand for your life must represent it see 
if you do not represent what we stand for, we are fake. It means we are lying. It means we are faking power somewhere. If we are healing the sick, you should heal the sick. You must not be in ministry. If we are humble and you are arrogant, there is something wrong with the transference of spirits. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night. Every power, every force against any area of your life, this night, if I be sent as a servant of God, if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters, I pray right now, those powers bow. 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 Every power hindering your marriage in this place, hear me, or the marriage of your loved ones, this night, I release you in the name of Jesus. Everything stopping your breakthrough. Breakthrough. As surely as the God of heaven lives. Between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non tithing or mistakes or whatever, I don't care what is responsible. Every heaven that is closed in this place, right now, this night, I pray, let the heavens be open over you. The heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic unction. Listen. Number two is favor that you cannot imagine listen number three is honor receive these three four blessings receive it receive power power to heal the sick power to cast out devil hear me in the name that is above all names whatever bows to us here let it bow to you in the name of the lord jesus whatever answers to us let it answer to you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray for your family. Super. Hear me, enough is enough this Super. night. Ta, 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 ta. Lift your hands. Super. Super. Ba, ta, ba, ra, ka, your families will never believe ba, you or the God you serve until there is an evidence. I pray, my God, that evidence of breakthrough, 
that will compel families to know that you are at work. Let there be a release now. Let there be a release now. Let the angel of the Lord go across every state, every city. I instruct it. Every city. Saria, Abuja, Lagos, Calabar, Kogiste, Jos, angels, in the name of Jesus, go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Go and confirm breakthroughs. Give testimonies. 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 So that they will know that your God is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is instructing me to do something dangerous. Please take off your shoes and stand on your feet. This is not diabolic, please. Don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense. Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen, listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are doing I don't have no. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening. But I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me? The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit. I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me. You will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight under the instruction that you have given me my god there is a spirit upon this ministry an operation of the holy ghost the operation of dominion and inexplainable influence at the count of three my god let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Receive it. Take 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 it. Receive it. The spirit of dominion. The action of kingdom influence. Let the ground open up for you. Let the ground open up for you. Let the earth answer to you. Hallelujah. One more prayer. God has given us inexplainable kingdom wealth and prosperity. Please lift your hands. You need it. 
honestly want to pray from my heart that your financial heavens will be open in a way and I'm going to pray my God and my King I pray in the name that is above all names you have called and you have sent me Lord if I be your servant at the count of three let an unction of inexplainable wealth let it come upon your people at the count of three one two three take it take it take it take it a mantle of prosperity a mantle of wealth a mantle of finance do, do mighty things for the kingdom to feed the hungry to clothe the poor to wipe the tears from your family let this anointing bring you ideas let it bring you opportunities Give them authority. I'd like to announce to you today that the Lord has given us authority. Hallelujah. Yes, He gave us authority. Say, I have authority. And Satan will leave. Afflictions will leave. Incurable diseases will leave. And breakthrough will come in the name of Jesus. One more scripture and then we are ready to pray. Mark 16 verse 17. Affect my life, breathe on me as I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me as I look to you for life. And these signs shall not follow cynical people who are asking rubbish questions this night. Whether or not this is making sense, he said, This sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall. That's the first thing you will do as a sign. In my name. See how the Bible deals ruthlessly with Satan. You are not supposed to keep talking. This is the problem I have with deliverance. Everything Satan. No, no, no. But we have a ministry to cast him out of our life. Say, The enemy has done this. Can you look at your life and say, The enemy has done this? I now see the enemy has done this. The enemy has done this havoc for my sister. The enemy has done this. So that you don't pray amiss. And I have good news for you. Over 2,000 years ago, exactly at this time, Jesus hung upon the cross and he made three powerful words. It is. Not it was. Not it will be. It is is finished i like you to prophesy it is finished affliction is finished cancer is finished hiv is finished demonic oppression is finished that's what the bible says listen you must announce to principalities and powers that i am born again the blood of jesus has made way you are an illegal occupant and by faith and the authority of the Lord, I will now enforce that which has been finished on the cross. This is the legal basis of victory. It's not just because you fasted or prayed. Fasting does not change God. It changes you. It's faith that moves God. I fast and pray, but your fasting doesn't do anything to God. It positions you to release your faith for results. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? The legal basis is that the blood of Jesus speaketh better things. Not just that the blood of Cain and Abel, but every other ordinance. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. He nailed it to the cross. 
is passed but satan will refuse until you enforce it by the authority of the lord jesus and this is our job tonight we have not come to do any new thing this is what i want to teach you there's nothing tonight that we are doing that is new we are only going back to tap the reality from calvary and make it a present tense reality this is the balanced gospel of redemption and one of the greatest person that has affected my life is the general of god i cried when he went to be with the lord tl osborne he was one man that demonstrated the reality of the kingdom more than any man i know hallelujah thank you jesus joblessness barrenness delay stagnation mental blockage sicknesses you name it we now know the devil that is in charge but the bible says for this purpose god organized koinonia meeting tonight for this purpose that he will annihilate i vowed unto god i said i will never pastor or lead any ministry where there is no demonstration of the superiority of light over darkness i won't come and teach people about the god who was and say i remember in 2001 somebody was healed what is he doing today jesus christ the same yesterday the same january miracle service the same february miracle service i bring you good news tonight the lord is in the house and he's here with his full authority and how nice it is that today is good friday he went about doing good on a good friday he went about doing today is not called bad friday it's called good friday rise up on your feet and let's charge ourselves in the spirit for a few minutes walk around in the next five minutes and begin to prophesy inside and outside come on come on walk round and begin to declare satan is behind every sickness every infirmity satan is behind poverty he's behind delays but today by the finished work that is in the name of the lord jesus there will be victory tonight. Rapa kata la basata, ma prakata pragede ba, rapa ta prakese pragede, rakata balada ba. Make sure you're praying. Rapo sho prakete lekoto. Hallelujah. Now listen, those of you inside and outside, we just have one minute to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. You're going to say, you're going to pray for yourself and your family and say satan now i know you are responsible and you are going to get out of my life my family my finance my marriage lift your voice and begin to pray you appear as terminal disease but you are a devil of darkness you appear as delay but you are a devil of darkness you appear as barrenness but you are a devil of darkness joblessness whatever tree has not been planted by our father that tree will be uprooted pray say tonight is my night of deliverance is my night of healing is my night of emancipation enough is enough hallelujah now look up please everyone look up so through territorial influences satan can gain grounds over a man's life although he's born again the second way satan gets to influence people is through what i call strongholds of the mind that's why the bible says the moment you get born again the next assignment is to begin to renew your mind because look at me your mindset is like a door in the realm of the spirit it can allow the activities of heaven it can allow the activities of demons are you listening to me so because of wrong teachings or our society we have had mindsets that have become strongholds 
permanent gateways so even when you pray and minister healing and deliverance what happens the bible says when a demon leaves a man because it is now it does not have a material body to find expression it becomes uneasy after a while what happens it says since i've been legally casted let me now use the mind and it comes back to check the man he finds the house swept clean but empty you have not filled yourself with the word and it gathers seven other demons more than itself and it comes back to the man listen this is the problem i have with many deliverance houses they don't concentrate on people getting born again they don't concentrate on people receiving the word they just concentrate on casting out devils so they now cast out devils are you listening to me in a lady who probably does not believe that sex before marriage is wrong that's a mindset it has become a stronghold is that correct so the demons will leave but her mindset will bring them back listen when believers are set free they must keep their healing they must keep their breakthrough by doing what building fortification that's why we spend three weeks teaching the word so that when you are set free when you are delivered what happened the word of god builds fortification in you that kind of mindset deliverance is by the word so he sends forth his word and his word heals your mind and delivers you it's not enough just to come for miracle service it's important to participate in all of the services because as we teach what happens you build fortification in the spirit then you get to a point like jesus where satan will come and will not find anything of himself then you now become a deliverer to others he said upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the children of jacob shall possess their possession but not until there is a deliverance upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and a spirit of holiness and then what happens people will begin to possess their possessions tonight satan will return some things he stole ah because the bible says when you catch a thief it's in leviticus when you catch a thief he will say i'm sorry no they didn't hear i'm sorry he will restore sevenfold sevenfold is the minimum hallelujah how many of us are ready to take back some things I'm reaping the harvest God promised me. Take back what the devil stole from me. And I rejoice today. For I shall recover it all. Yes, I rejoice today. Hallelujah. Now, before I begin to minister in the anointing, we're going to pray one prayer. I want you to be honest and open tonight. Listen, listen, we're a family. I truly prayed and cried and wanted you to be free. Listen, you're going to say, Lord, if there is any force of darkness at work in my mind or my life, listen, or my family, I open myself tonight. Let tonight be a separation between me and Egypt forever. I must move forward. You must humble yourself and pray. Are you listening to me? Open your mouth and pray, everyone. Those outside, pray. The Holy Ghost is everywhere. Taparata parataya. Time up, Satan, over the lives and the destinies of people. We announce an expiry date for you, which is right now. Tonight is Good Friday. Over our lives, Jesus said it is finished. We believe it. Jesus said it is finished. Oh, hallelujah, he's really I'm excited, I'm excited Someone is walking free tonight I tell you, a door is open tonight Pray Pray Yes Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. There's a shout of the king in this house. Come on, help me. You don't know this song. There's a great anointing working. For the spirit of the Lord is here. Spirit have your way. In us. In us. Spirit Now I see the angels of the living God. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. And when Jesus saw, oh yes, oh yes, gates will be lifted. Ancient doors, inside and outside. Let your faith reach out now. Let your faith reach out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen. We are going to shout. Just a shout. Listen. Just a shout once. My God. Kabata Kaya. Kapra Dele Kaya. Embrozata Prata Dadaba. Rakata Prosata Libariata. De Kaya. Kabam Prastaya. I want all the people out. Ushers, please be effective. Listen, just one shout. I'd like you to shout it with all your heart. I tell you the truth, devils will be shaken from their foundation. Are you listening to me? No power of darkness will stand the fire power that is in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? All the instruments together. In the Hebrew, we call this Tehila. It's a shout of praise. Are you ready to shout? After the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Make up, 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 make up,
Oh, come on. No devil stands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands inside and outside. Now, according to the unction, and he gave us power, I speak to you. Inside, outside, territorial spirit, I confront you. At the count of three, you will go. You will go. I see a mighty deliverance in this row. One, two, three, go, 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 go. Bring them out. No devil stands. Bring them out. Outside. All of you lift your hands. For there will be a move of the spirit outside. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every power afflicting any life outside by the fire of the Lord be exposed now be exposed now be exposed the fire of the Lord outside the fire of his presence be exposed outside the Puerto Rico day no demon stands Every affliction go outside, outside, outside. The power of God is falling. They talk to Bereke, they get the crash, the Kapaya. Outside, the power of God is falling. I see angels, angels, angels move across the ground. Out of her, out of her now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you now, in the name of Jesus, fire upon you, fire upon you, come out of her now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go, 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 go out of her right now, out of her, out of her, come out, come out of her, come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her. Come out of her now. Thou foul devil. I see a snake. Out of her. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Devil stands 
must open up are you listening to me i said your destiny must open up therefore every power i speak by an apostolic unction every demonic force you're going to shout jesus once and the power of god will move across my god let your fire move are you ready those outside one two three Come out, 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 Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. Bring them in. Bring them Bring this girl. Bring that lady. Bring her, bring her. Just look, look at me. Bring her. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Come out now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Bring that little girl. Look at a, hold on. Look at a girl. Look at this girl. At this age. Look at this little girl. Bring her, please. Shall the captives be taken from the mighty? Come out of her. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus, I bring you the powers of the kingdom. Come out. You shall stay no longer in her life. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Your time is up. Thou foul devil. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Come out right now. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out in the name of Jesus. Take your place. Yeah. Take your place. Take your place. Fire all over this body. Leave her in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you now. Your time in this body is up. Please help me with water.
The devil put something. Hold on. You will see this lady now and think what she has in her body is a growth. But it's not a Look at. Look at. I'm using this as an example to teach you something. Take what you have put in her life and go now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Out of her now. Out of her now. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. It's time for her destiny to go. Come out by the fiery power. Jesus is Lord over every walk of darkness. They know not, neither do they understand. Excuse me. Lady, look at me. I command you to look at me right now. I'm not speaking to her, I'm speaking to the spirit. He's seeing me. Look at me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that foul devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, just lay your hands on her back. Lay your hands on her back. Now I command you, come and meet me here. Quickly, come and meet me here. In the name of Jesus, leave that place and come quickly. I'm speaking to that foul spirit. Get up right now and come. It's a time of salvation. In the name of Jesus. Since you will not come, hello, I bring you under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Now come here. Holy Ghost, bring her by yourself. Show the superiority of kingdom authority. Kapadia, the pro sosoba, rabate, liver, liver, liver. Nobody should hold her. Come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Many of you do not know how powerful the Holy Spirit is. You will come. Is an instruction in the realm of the Spirit. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies come. Run right now. Get up and run and come here. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. No devil stops it. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies. I said come and meet me here. Don't stay there. It's time for the lady to go. Someone has Someone has a problem One ear You feel like there's water You practically cannot hear very well with it Who is that person? Who is that person? One ear You feel like there's water Or something Please who is that? Inside or outside? Hurry up, come quickly You Which of them? It will be open right now Put your hands there as I command that deaf and dumb spirit to go. In the name of Jesus, let her go now. Go! Be healed. Mama, salvation has come for you right now. Which of the ears? This one, put your hands there. That devil is a liar. No, just put a finger inside. of her come out of her right now you are a deaf and dumb spirit in the name of jesus let her go 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 i set you free check it check it someone check her what do you feel no no really i'm free look at my water there again look at instant miracle come what happened mama 
What look at me? What used to happen before? I'm not uh, before I used to feel as if there is water inside. Sometimes I'll be hearing something uh, waka inside, but now not look at this. And Jesus casted the devil and the dumb spirit. This is Acts of the Apostles. The Bible says Jesus is the same. Yes, this is an elderly woman. She can't come and stand before you and be telling lies, Madam. You are free forever. What's wrong with her? Both ears. She had moms, so it affected she had her what? moms on her left ear. Moms. So it affected Bond. both. Can she, she can't hear me now. She can't hear the two ears. Put your hands in her ears. Jesus, our deaf and dumb spirit, I curse you over this girl. I curse you over this life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your reign is gone. In the name of Jesus, someone test them. There's someone. Come, sister, you. Yes, come. I'm seeing something wrong with your stomach. Lay your hands there. Look at me. Look at me. He will be free right now. Hmm? I bring you life. I bring you healing and perfection. In the name of Jesus. Now, all those with any heart conditions, all those with any heart conditions, heart condition of whatever kind, please come out quickly. Just leave these people in front here. Just leave them. Just shift this poop in the bit. And heart condition. Okay. Your ear. Both of them. Both ears. Look at me. Ah, the power of God is going to you. Come out of him now. Thou foul devil. I open your ears. Check him. Check him. Do what you couldn't do. Check him. Please let the ministers do it. Heart problem. Heart problem. Can you shift this? I'm not afraid. Hallelujah. Can you just step up here, all of you? Please, quickly, quickly. I don't want you to step. Heart problems. I'm feeling pains here. Look up, look up, please. Who has pains here? Is this my right or left? This left. Someone is having a sharp pain because I'm having the same pain. Here, yeah, come. Hold on, hold on. I pray for you. And heart problem. What of your waist that pains you? You didn't come out for it, but you will go. Leave her now. Come out of her. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack your load. Say it and pack your load. You remember that song? You Buddhist sing it. All right, let's not sing it. Spirit, I will sing Janet songs. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baka para tapasha te baka tafrata galaya. Mambro so preteke paria. I represent the government of heaven and I bring you the life of that government. Kapranto so preteke paria. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go, go, go. Check yourself now. Check yourself. It's gone. It's gone. Please help me with the mic. It's gone. Completely gone. It's gone. What used to happen? Hold on. What used to happen I to used you? To feel it. Used to feel pains. Yes, when I came in. I was when you came in, you were feeling pains. You see that the enemy has done this. You are free forever in the name of Jesus Christ.
Come, my brother. What is this pain that I see here? What happened? What happened, but uh, the pain just started yesterday. Yeah, but you are not serious with God now. You see, the pain will keep coming. Eh? You are not even born again. When I make altar call, before I, I finish, just run and come and wait here. Eh? But for now, Jesus will heal you because he's a God of love. You believe that? Out of him now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Oh, foul devil. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. Go, go. Out. Come out of him. Who is Neka? Who do you know called Neka? I'm hearing a name Neka. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you? Your heart. What happened? It used to pain you. What do you mean it used to pain you? Now sharp pain always. Sharp pain. Yes. How long? Is your sister? Okay, lay your hands there. For like three months now. Okay, look at me. Open your eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Come out of her, devil of darkness. You are free. Sister, sister, just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. For light cannot stand darkness. You are a foul spirit. I've seen you in the spirit. Out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear, you are free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as I pray for you, go back to your seat quickly. No, 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 no. How can you go? I'm not done. In the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands on her stomach. All right, go. Go! You see something for me like a growth. You must go. They call it a growth. The life that sponsors this growth, you will go right now. With a loud shout. That's what the Lord tells me. You will go with a loud shout. Now! Come. She's free. Bless you. Madam, what's wrong with you? My two brothers. Your two brothers? They, where are they? They're in the village. What's wrong with them? They don't hear well. They are stubborn or they don't no, hear well? They are ears. Okay, they are ears. Yes. Can we agree for them? Yes. What's their name? Tony and Ima. Tony and Ima. In the name of Jesus, for t- ah, you two, you need help now, madam. Let's start with you first. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please put your hands on your stomach. Let that pain go. And then for your two brothers, the Lord perfects them. In the name of Jesus Christ. When I lay hands on you, you will be healed. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I have to cast out a demon. See, manifestation is not a sign that demons are in you or they are going out. Faith in the word of God is. Brother, you are not very fine, Mr. Man. In Jesus' name. The ministers are going to come up and we'll start ministering to people in mass. What's wrong? Steal the heart. Go! Come out of him. Come out of him right now. Out of him. Out! In the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Take him outside. He's going to cough something. Quickly. No coughing inside corner the auditorium. Please take him outside quickly. He will go by the influence of the spirit. So he's going to run. Hold him. He's going to run by the influence of the spirit. Okay, I'll pray for you. Huh? In Jesus' name. That pain leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Sister, come. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Where are you from? My state of origin, Benue. Because the same way you are dressed, that's the same way I'm seeing you in the spirit, but the only thing is your face is covered. Are you listening to me? What the Lord will set you free. What did you come for? I used to have a 
heart problem each time I have anything in my mind. What of the movements around your body? Presently, I'm feeling shaky. Something is moving around your body. Affect my life, freedom. Free. 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 You can't hide in her. Come out in the name of Jesus and set this lady free. You're free. desirous of help because I see the spirit of anger you can carry bottle and kill somebody with it is that true you want to be set free from it look at my eyes I've seen you now in the spirit come out out of her come out of her right now foul spirit of wickedness in the name of Jesus This is a very nice girl, oh. This is a very nice girl. But when that spirit comes, she can break this bottle and tear your head with it. You must go. I'm seeing a snake. This is the spirit of lust. Come out. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Come out. I see that spirit. It's a snake. This is what I'm seeing. You must leave her right now. Out of her. Out of her. See, you don't need to think about Satan. You just need to get him out of the way and build your life with the word of God. I set you free. Right now, no more anger. Just look at my eyes. In Jesus' name, you're free. Leave her. You're free. She's free. My dear, no more anger. You will serve the Lord all your days. Okay, God bless you. Heart. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed right now of that heart. You must leave. You've tormented this girl for a long time. Out of her right now. In Jesus' name. You must go out. Come 
out your exodus out of her life with a loud shout I instruct you to leave now at the count of three one two three Now, now, now. Out. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I set you free. Set you free. for altar call before I finish just run and come and stand huh you you know what I'm saying right it makes sense to you huh you're not gone you must go I see you in the spirit go come out of her be silent speak no word go out What did you put in her stomach? Take it and go out. Take it. Remove what you put in her stomach. I see it now. Remove what you put in her stomach and go out. I said remove it. Take it out now. Foul devil of darkness. Jesus set you free. You're free now. In Jesus' name. Leave her. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. I said, look at my eyes. This is the instruction. I see like claws holding this lady. Now, go. In peace. And I mean it. Take it away and go. Set her free right now. Jesus' name. Stand up. Don't feel embarrassed. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just stand up. <laughs> My brother, like I said, what do you say is wrong with you? You have all these things now. When you are doing all the things you are doing, you know what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? Abba. Nka shower, nka shower. Your body will not leave you now. This is your problem. You know what I'm saying, right? Ever since before you started, what happened? Who led you into taking it? Tell me the truth. You can't hide it. I've seen it. I mean, my son. You started by yourself. Yes. Since when? Since 1998. The Lord sets you free. Break you free from that addiction. When I make the altar call, just run and come. God will give you a new beginning and you will be a great man. Lay your hand. 
dizer. Sarkin Salama 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 You'll be a mighty woman of God. Mighty woman of God. Free. Jesus. Come, it's your time to go out. Oh yeah. Zerkin Salama. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. No, you don't need to force her. This is authority. I'm not speaking by myself. So I can't use my strength. Once you use your strength, the strength of God is of none effect. This is God speaking. Look at my eyes. Quick, look at my eyes. Salama. Salama. Very pretty lady, wonderful lady. They shall lay hands. Now you must leave. I bring you the authority of Jesus. Go. Go now. At the count of three, quietly let her go. You're hearing me. One. This is Good Friday. Two. <laughs> Three. Or I go. Quietly. Quietly. You must leave. I've given the command. I've given the command. You will go. Out. Out you go. That's it. Bye bye. Find someone else somewhere. No, it's going. It's going. There's no stopping. The word has been spoken. Sister, come. No, this lady with blue will be green. That's it. Leave her. She's free. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. This is a terrible spirit. Hold on. It doesn't leave until she's turned with her back. This is crazy. Whatever this means. All right, turn your back and go. Say terrible thing. Back. Whatever that means. I'm not a herbalist for God's sake. You heard me. Turn your back now and leave. It cannot leave until she's on her back. I said turn your back and go out now. You are a foul spirit. No. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just leave her. Just leave her. Turn your back. You will lie on your back and it will go. That's right. Is bringing everything when she lies on her back is going quietly i don't understand some of these things we are still learning so you lie and go there's an angel standing close to her that's why i told you people don't bother now we are going to minister we will have to hurry up if you brought somebody who is sick Please come out here quickly. The ministers are going to lay hands upon you, but bring this lady for me. 
All right, your time is up. Go. That's it. She's free. Stand up. Stand up. Please, can I have your water again? My sister, come. Well done. You will live your life serving the Lord. Look at me. Look at me. Where else did you put this kind of thing? Look at me, look at me. Where else do you have this kind of thing? This is what attracts the wrong men to you. You don't even know. Mindsets. All right, that's all. Go. My dear, look at me. Touch my hands. Just touch my hands. You know what you are seeing. I'm speaking to the spirit, not you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Touch my hands. Go ahead, touch my hands. The hands of Jesus. I bring you life. You may leave her now. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. With a loud shout, you are going. This is what the Lord. Go. In Jesus' name. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you walk when you don't know the way of the Spirit? How can you fly like eagles when you don't know the way? Are these the only sick people? Please, every other sick person, come and join them quickly. While that is happening, pass your prayer requests quickly. Outside, please pass it to the last person at the side. Let's do that quickly. All the sick people, please come quickly. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the sleeping. Please come and lie down. Sass, Jake, please. Please come and stand here. Get set to be healed. This is not trial and error. While that is happening, everyone, please pass your, your prayer point. Swallow your pride. Listen, as hands come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be perfected. Pastor Sam. Hallelujah. Now we'll start praying for you. Whatever the case is, I've waited for when I'll pray for you. Come and stand. You, come. It's time for your salvation. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Give her now. Go. You're free. Next. Please, quickly. Whatever is wrong with you, as hands are laid upon you, that's it. Be healed. Be healed. Every sickness. Peptic ulcer. Who is the person? Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Come. Be set free from anything. Anything wrong with you. Come out. Leave her. Go. Go. Set her free right now. Go. Go. You're a foul spirit. I've seen you. Go. What's wrong with her? Okay. What did I say? Peptic ulcer. Fire. 
fire upon you right now. Quietly, go. Lepticals, are you coming? Come out of her. Come out now. You have caused a lot of delay in her life. This is out, out. You're a wicked spirit. Come out. I've seen you. Out. Matabratakaria. You said she will not marry. She wouldn't do anything. It's, it's a time of deliverance. Out of her. Come out now. Come out now. I set you free. I open doors of blessings to your life. Please quickly. What's wrong with them? Yahweh.
will be surprised to go back home and see the doors that will be opening unto you. Believe me, I will lie to you. Sister, hold on, you're looking at, you with pink, at the back of that girl with pink, run and come, run as if you want your deliverance, come. Your salvation has come. It's your time to smile. Run and come. I say run. Look at what she's doing. No, you are not done. No, he will still pray for you. Come, my dear. Look at you. For the Lord says, I should tell you, not only doors of marriages, but doors of restoration and prosperity. You have cried. This lady loves the Lord, but she has suffered. You have seen, you have suffered. Aha. I'm seeing a cake, and it's a wedding cake. This is what the Lord shows me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I release you into this. Place. Where's the lady? I asked her to come. Where's the lady? Sister, look at me. Start rejoicing because of the good. No, I didn't say dance here. The good things that will happen in your life will be surprised. Look at me because you have suffered. God brought you here to bless you. If I were you, I'll find the person that invited me and take him out for lunch. Go! Go! It's a time. That's it. Step into your blessings in the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate Jesus. The prayer request, please bring them out quickly. If you didn't write prayer, those on Facebook and all our members, please. If you cannot have it, no problem. Hold on. There are two ladies. Please don't be ashamed, okay? The Lord asked me to call out the case. Don't be ashamed. Okay, three people. You are suffering from... Is a bedwetting issue. See, we're a family. Do we all agree we're a family? There's no need. There's no... Okay. You are suffering from... It's a serious issue. Please come. This is a serious issue. There's no hiding and this is... Yeah, please... Very serious because God will set you free. That's why we are family of faith. There's no this is miracle service. This is not a conference, it's a miracle service. Hallelujah. Please take away her bag for a while. Sister, look at my eyes. Just look at me. Keep looking. Fire upon you. I expose you, foul spirit of darkness. Now, but wedding stops forever. It's a spirit. She has a dream. This is I'm seeing the dream that this lady has now. She has a dream. They are pouring water, and she's standing there. Later, the water becomes a bathroom, and she wakes up and sees. You will look and think she's an irresponsible lady. Some of you who will not keep your mouth in one place. You like talking about people. See, judge not. The spirit of Christ is the spirit of love. When you see your brother in a child, help the person. Don't be the one carrying your big mouth from left to right when you yourself are not free. Hallelujah. Don't be judgmental and cynical. Let's, let's give our brethren room to find security. Koinonia is not a church. This is an apostolic center where God is setting people free. On Sunday, you can go to your church. This is not a church. 
It's not a prayer house. It's a place where Jesus dwells and is doing wonders. Sister, I set you free in the name of Jesus. Hold on, because I'm still going to pray for her. She came from just God is going to use her. All of you standing here, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. God will set you free right now. God is helping you, but you need a kingdom mindset. Mindset. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Foul devil. Go! Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. I'm speaking to you. Even the lawful captives. Even the lawful captives. Aha! Come out of her! Now I've seen you. Come out of her! Foul spirit! Fire upon this body right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a wicked spirit. Go. In the name of Jesus. Now, see. Out of her, what is this that you are put in her stomach? You will remove it. Remove it now. I said remove it. I'm seeing it. I see something like a ban. Remove it. Take it away. Remove it. Let everybody see. I said remove it now in the name of Jesus. Our foul devil. No. No. Just quietly come out. Honestly, don't disturb us in this place. Go out, please. Go out in Jesus' name right now. This thing happened to your father. This thing is happening to your loved ones. What is this around your waist? This is what I'm saying. Come out! You are a wicked spirit. Out! Spirit of lust. Aha! Out! Come out of her right now. You are a wicked spirit. Look at, look at this. Come out! What did Kabarakata Krento Satilaka Repatarita Rabaga Batoso Pregete Rekata Pariata by the fire power of the spirit? Many of you will find out that your spiritual life will take a new dimension. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now you will begin to understand the word. But don't judge others. Because with this spiritual insight now, you will be looking at people and be seeing how oppressed people are. It should create love in you. The true spirit of Christ will reveal the character of Jesus. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. With both of your hands. As tight as you can. First bank had a song. He said, what is the song? Man pass man. Bank pass bank. Jesus pass demons. Is that not a good one? Compose your own. Now you must go. Out of her. Right now. Even aside from standing in, I need to pray for you. You're a good usher, so you'll be free. Come out of her! Out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at your own hands shaking. What is this? Watch. From today, just look at it. This is demonic. This is nonsense. Huh? And I am come that ye may have life. I pray that when some of you begin ministry, you will bring Jesus alive to the scene. You won't let men just doubt whether Jesus is Lord. What is happening to you? Spinning me. Jesus said. It is the thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Please hang on because I'm going to prophesy. 
this is the best part of the session where I begin to speak to people. But first, let's play on this request. Sass. Please can we come? All of you stretch your hands inside and outside. Please stretch your hands on your request. right now fire upon you right now fire upon you right now fire upon you right now come out come out come out come out out of her come out she loves the lord but you will not oppress her come out this this is what has been responded come out fire upon you right now fire upon you fire upon you you must go oh yes you must Go, I've not finished with you. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus, I challenge you. I'm seeing an altar. I set it on fire. Kaparata. Rabrete keterete. Rabaka paratapa. Babriata. I told you Satan likes bodies. They won't go. It takes the power of the spirit. Go, 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 go. Go. Please be praying on the request. Don't let's save time. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. For with authority commanded he devils and he obeyed. At the count of three, your time of exit is come. This is Good Friday. One. Two. Three. Go. Jesus name Go Go In Jesus name With a loud shout, come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. She's free. Stand up. Where's the other lady that was here? There was a lady here, right? Sweetheart, it's okay. Hmm? Please, when people stand up like this, show them love, help them. Don't just stand and be looking at them. Someone was standing here. Come, my dear. You are going to begin a journey with the Holy Spirit. God has set you free. I'm going to impart an anointing upon you. There's, there's still impartation coming in okay it's not all about deliverance there's you need grace all right we have finished with satan so you need to have something my dear god will do great things through your life you may look weak in yourself but when he overshadows you that which will be born of you will be called the holy thing hallelujah lift your hands look at me my god there is no man who is able to separate. The Bible says, when they all gathered in prayer and fasting, the Holy Ghost said unto them, separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord Jesus, place your hands upon her by yourself and separate her. I separate you right now to the dealings of the Spirit. 
I open you up to visions. I open you up to spiritual experiences. Receive the fire right now. Receive it right now. Thank you, Jesus. An angel is pouring oil upon you right now. This is what is happening to you. Upon your hands and your head and your chest. Let the oil come. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands, everyone. Please stretch your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray now. Please, for your loved ones, say, Lord, every request here, those outside, everywhere, stretch your hands towards this. Stretch your hands towards your screen. In the name of Jesus. Lord, miracles. Release miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, by your great power, thy enemies submitted. All the requests here, and even those who are online, Father, by your power, by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, and answer prayer. Answer prayer. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Miracles. Doors open. Miracle babies for our loved ones. Miracle marriages. Open door. Finances open. In the name of Jesus. Reconciliation to home that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Miracles. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Now, I want to pray for everybody right now. Please don't miss this part. This is where the Lord separates men unto great things. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. It's not to say you are wearing this. Come. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Expose darkness. Go! In the name of Jesus. I truly want to pray for you from the depth of my heart. Don't miss this part. He sent forth his word. Whenever a prophetic word is about coming to your life, listen, this is where God picks men into miracles, be it financial, be it whatever. I don't do these things because I'm a man of God. I do these things as I am moved by the Spirit. Whether you are inside or outside, even if no one can see you, I like you to lift your hands and where you need to shout amen, shout it with all that you have. Lift your hands. Something will happen in this place right now. For he never sends us alone. He leaves us a witness. Jesus. I want to impart gifts, anointings, graces. Help me instrumentalists. At the count of three, I'll begin to release them in mass, everywhere, inside and outside. It's time for you to step up spiritually. I come in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands. Father, confirm your word. No, you don't need to bring them out. You don't need to bring them out now. This is impartation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands now. Come on, Babaratata. Shout Jesus just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release gifts. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of healing. Receive it. Papa 
Rakata, la papa, Rakata, la papa, reposo, reque, retos, coma, reposa, la pariata, repos, take it, take it, take it, take it. I activate your spirit man. I activate your sense. Share in the spirit. See in the spirit. Perceive spiritual things. Baba Rata, Rababa, Robosha, Rekea, Reboshata, Rabaria, Paros, Korekata, Mapeto Sodia, Rendekete, Lekete. Receive it, receive it, receive it, take it, take it. Now the fire of the Holy Ghost is coming. Listen, just leave them, just leave them. It's not a crime for them to drop a seat. Just to read. Listen, the fire of God is going to mantle some of you. And this will take you to a new level of Christian experience. Not everybody. Lift your hands. For some hungry people, oh God. I see cloven tongues of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thou power of the Holy Ghost. Move. 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 Fire. Fire. Let it come like rain. Take it, take it, prophetic experiences, take it. Outside, take it, take it. Hallelujah. I want to pray for favor. Favor. Oh, how we need it. Favor. It will come strong on some people. I tell you, it will hit some of you in a way that you cannot recover from. My Lord, in the name of Jesus, favor anointing. Fall, 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 fall. 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 Favor, 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 favor. Let it hit you, let it hit you like tornado where you are, like a fireboat. Aparata kaba, baka brata rata, teke ke teke teke I want to prophesy breakthrough. 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 Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. Brother, come. God will do mighty things with you. Lift your hands. God, use him mightily. Take it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not be the same again. Lift your hands. The breakthrough anointing. Higher. The Lord is showing me doors. Kenneth, the breakthrough anointing is coming on you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand. I'd like you to shout, I receive just once. It will hit some of you. Shout, I receive just once. One to go. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it, the breakthrough anointing. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Miracle jobs, marriages, barren women receive, barren women receive all kinds of breakthrough. I pray for your finances. 
within the next 30 days. Many of you don't know what the anointing of the Spirit. I'm not ministering as Joshua Selman. Don't be foolish. Within the next 30 days, Lord, confirm your word. If you have sent me, let the fire come. Listen, this is what I'm doing. I pick you from where you are financially. I place you in a prophetic position. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it for your families. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Miracle connections. Miracle calls. Every family under any yoke of bondage I don't care what it is from this night I set you free in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any building project that your parents are in in the name of Jesus within the next seven days let the finance to continue it I put it prophetically upon your hands in the name of Jesus blessed Jesus Thank you. for you and for your loved ones who need jobs I call April a month where you will experience turn around the Bible says and Abraham was old and stricken in age and the Lord had blessed him in all things I prophesy that anointing all round for your academics receive grace for your academics receive grace grace to be the best grace to excel you are not dull I call you brilliant I call you blessed I call you blessed I speak to your exams. I speak to your papers. I speak to last semester's results. I call it excellence, distinction. Where you made mistakes, we correct it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood upon your papers. Let it speak better than the blood of Abel. For final year students, we graduate you in this place right now. Believe me, believe, believe. Don't be doubters. I know you have challenges. I'm not speaking as a man. For as many who can believe, we release you in the name of Jesus. Let policies change in your department. Let them change in your faculty. Every satanic molestation over your life, over your dreams, in the name of Jesus. I put a seal of the blood because Christ died. No devil can access your life again. In the name of Jesus. I command you increase. Multiply. Advance. Move forward. I break you free from habits. Any habit you have been struggling with. Any habit. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by our Father shall be uprooted. I uproot it tonight. The Lord still tells me prophesy on their finances. Listen. 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 We're rounding up. I don't do this all the time. But please everybody, package a seed. I want to pray for your finance. If you don't believe it, just leave it. Just package a seed. I want to do something that will shake your finances. Please. Who needs one person? Please. This is not about money. You know us here in this place. Package a seed. I want to. Please package something that will touch you. We don't teach you error here, brothers and sisters. This is not about money. We're a blessed ministry. Please do it for yourself, some of you for your family. Just package something that will cost you and lift it up. 
This is not some spiritual jamboree. You will watch what will happen. Lift it up, please. Lift it up. Honestly, from your heart. If you don't believe what I'm doing, please put back your seat. Just lift it up, inside and outside. Please, if you can help your neighbor, it will be the best thing you would have done. If you can help your neighbor. Don't make foolish decisions, please. Your common sense is still with you. But I'd like you to do something that will, will challenge poverty in your life. Please just play the strings for me. Many of you do not know. We don't neglect spiritual principles. We only put them in place. Honestly. Honestly. Hear me. If God is God and we are serving him truly, something will happen to your finances that will surprise you. Some of you are standing in for your families. You just hold on and see. I have tried this thing. It has worked. Lift it. Many of you, as you are holding it, you will see what will happen to you before you drop. Lift it up. Jesus. I didn't call myself, oh Lord, you called me. To bless your people, to lift your, please lift it. <laughs> For yourself and family. Hold, just hold it, just hold it. Just keep it hold. Keep it hold. Some of you are under financial curses for your family. Just keep it up. That's what I want to break. A sacrifice brought that curse. Let a sacrifice take it out. Go! 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 I break the curse. Go! 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 Lift it up. Go! Go! I break the curse. Go! It's a curse. It's a curse upon individuals and families. Lift it up. Make sure you package something that will touch you. I break it. It took sacrifice to bring the curse. Lord, we lift this sacrifice like that of Abel. I terminate poverty. You are a spirit. Go. I create a sound of abundance in the spirit. I give your seed a voice in the realm of the spirit. I speak against altars of darkness that keep families in bondage. Go! Go! I set them on fire. Hallelujah. Father, these hands that are lifted, Please, even if you don't have a seed, just lay your hands on someone's hand who has a seed and lift it. Father, as a house in Koinonia, Lord, you cannot give me people to lead and you are blessing us as a house and it's not showing in their lives. Let everyone who identifies with this ministry, I prophesy the same oil of inexplainable but undeniable prosperity. I release it upon your life right now. I release it upon your life right now. Creativity beyond your imagination. Visions of ideas. Destiny help us. For your family members. Those who need jobs, take jobs. Those who need business ideas, receive it. Those whose business are dying, I resurrect it back. I put the life of God into it. Let the dry bones come alive. I speak to this seed. Lord, this will not be the last seed they will give. But may this be the least you will give. Because of the degree of abundance. Ushers, quickly. Yeah. I wish many of you can see what is happening in the realm of the spirit. All our services are powerful. It's just that the miracle service is a special service. Quickly, quickly. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. We are soon rounding up. Just hold on. Do you know part of the reasons why? Hold on. Part of the reasons why people don't wait, except they have something serious. Do you know part of the major reasons why people don't wait for meetings like this is because of demonic activities. They keep making them uncomfortable. And they leave because of certain blessings. Listen, not every man of God is out to destroy you. 
God sends people to lift you. I promise you, you will never be the same. Hallelujah. Now, it's not just enough to be prayed for, to be healed, to be released. You must grow in the word. I can't tell you this enough. There are many of you who only come for miracle services because you, want, you won't grow that way. You must be taught the word. Subject yourself to the teaching of the word. The Bible says, I commend you to the word of his grace, which is able to keep you and to give you an inheritance. He said, according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertains unto life and godliness. How? Through the knowledge of him who has called us into glory and virtue. The next verse says, Wherefore has he given us these exceedingly great and precious promises, that by them we might become the partakers of his divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. Subject yourself to the word. You must be taught the word. You must grow. There's no shortcut to greatness. There's no shortcut to the anointing and to the presence of God. Everyone, please stand up. Right now, I'm inviting those who I don't need to do any special cajoling. All those people that I told them it's time to get born again. Now it's your time to run out and come out here. Everyone who wants to give his life to Jesus Christ, or you have once given your heart to the Lord and you've run and this is stand, please. You are not coming to me. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, Jesus loves you. Now is the time of salvation. We do not condemn you. Leave your seat and come. If you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing, no problem, just come. Outside, there are a number of you outside. God is calling you. Leave your friend. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Koinonia, celebrate them. This is the biggest miracle. Come. God bless you. Bless you, sister. Bless you, my brother. Don't stop. God bless you. You need Jesus. He's the fountain of life. He's the one we represent here. He's the one we exalt. There is only one name. Not any man of God. Not Bishop Stan. Not Pastor Jakes. Not Joshua Selman. Jesus and him alone. I sense that there are still some of you that are waiting behind. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. at me all of you who have come here god bless you thank you so much for coming i want you to know that you will never be the same in jesus name this is the greatest decision you will ever make in your life now lift your right hand high above your head and say this very very loud say after me lord jesus is not a poem say lord jesus i love you i believe you died for me I surrender my heart to you because I cannot help myself. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm born again. The life of God is in me. And Satan will go, go! Was he praying? And what, what was I saying? And Satan will live my life forever. In the name of Jesus. Come out of ashes. Making Jesus Lord of our life. We are a foul spirit. Out. Out. We are a wicked spirit. Go. This is, this is authentic born again. Authentic one that comes with a dramatic change. Many of you got born again. You were laughing from the beginning to the end. You don't even know what happened to you. What they call old time religion born again the one that will leave a mark in your life you won't forget unfortunately those who talk about old time don't go far enough they mean religious born again acts of the apostles holy spirit come and live in me from today i am yours in the name of jesus i'm a child of god I break free from addictions in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I appreciate them. Look at me, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much.
This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They will lead you and then will follow you up and make sure you are grounded in the things of God. Never forget this day from today. You're going forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please appreciate them. Pastor Jakes is meeting with you tomorrow by, by 5 p.m. Chapel premises. Please, ushers, make sure you remind them. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. Hallelujah. Now, if you're worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we're out of time. Please, I'd like you to run and come out quickly. We want to bless you. Appreciate them. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Confidence is come out here. You'll be the first to receive the blessing. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. She's a visitor, but you must leave. Don't go back the same way. Hallelujah. When we say we have a blessing, we are not joking. We really mean it. Come, quickly. Thank you for coming. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for coming. This is Koinonia. Today happens to be our miracle service. We meet here every Friday. Hallelujah. I assure you, you will never be the same. The Lord will bless you and he will make you a wonder in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that he will help you. I pray that his grace will be at work in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Whatever you came here with, whatever expectation, believe God and it will be done. Hallelujah. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray for them. Father, may they step into blessings beyond their imagination. We bless you with a fresh hunger for God's presence. You will love the Lord more than anything. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with passion for the word. I command everyone under the influence of any spirit that is not of God to be free. In the name of Jesus, we open up closed doors for you. We anoint you in the name of Jesus. May you walk in paths of the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same again. May the hand of God be strong upon your life. May the Lord use you mightily. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We'd love to see you again and again. And we pray. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.